This is Katherine Nightingale at Chattanooga State Community College and this video is for Linear Algebra section 1.2 number 10 of the Webwork homework. We are asked to solve the given system and write the solution in the form given here. The first thing that I want to do in order to solve the system is to put put it into an augmented matrix. And so I'm going to take this system and each coefficient will become an entry in my matrix. And now my goal becomes to get the matrix into reduced row echelon form as we did in class, which means that we'll have zeros below and above all leading ones. I'm going to move on to a new slide and carry this exact same matrix. So here's this matrix and the first thing that I want to do is get a zero underneath the first leading one. So this red circled zero, this red circled one, I want to make it into a zero. In order to do that, I want to do negative row one plus row four becomes the new row four. Now negative row 1 will just negate each entry in row 1. Row 4 I'll just write exactly as I see in the matrix. And then I add the two together to get my new row 4 and that gives me my new matrix. Next, I want to get a 0 below the next leading one. So I want to 0 out this negative 1. In order to do that, I want to use row 2 plus row 4. I do not want to use row 1 because that would introduce a 1 in the first column of row 4 and I don't want to put that back. So I'll do row 2 plus row 4 gives me the new row 4 by adding up the corresponding entries and I get my new matrix. Now because I'm going for reduced row echelon form I also want zeros above the leading ones. So my next step is to, tr to try to get a zero above the leading one in column two. And I have to use row two, or negative row two, plus row one in order to make that a zero in row one. So I'll do negative row two, I just negate every entry, add it to row one, and I get my new row one. Now my new matrix will have this 1, 0, negative 1, 0, negative 3 replacing the row 1. So here's the next matrix. Okay, at this point, notice that these bottom two rows are the same. So if I try to get a zero in column three of row four by adding the negative of row three to row four, that will actually zero out the entire row four. So in my new matrix, I get zeros along the entire bottom row. Again, because I'm trying to do reduced row echelon form, I want to zero out the entries above the leading ones. So here's my, um, here's my leading one, here's my leading one in row three, and I want to zero out the one above it. So I'll do negative row three plus row two becomes the new row two. So I negate everything in row three. I write row two just as it is add them together, and replace row 2 in my matrix. I have one more to go. I want to get rid of that negative 1 in the top row. And so in order to do that, I'm going to use row 3 plus row 1 becoming the new row 1. So I have row 3, row 1. I add them together and that will give me my new row 1. 
Okay, so here's my final matrix. This is in reduced row echelon form because I have zeros above and below all the leading ones and um, any rows with all zeros at the bottom. Now I can see that in columns 1, 2, and 3 I have pivots and in column 4 I have no pivot I have no leading entry and so x4 is going to be my free variable now remember column 1 is representing the x1 column column 2 is x2 x3 and x4 and then the negative 2 3 1 0 is my solution column so translating this into my equations I have the top row gives me x1 plus x4 equals negative 2. Second row gives me x2 minus x4 equals 3. The third row gives me x3 plus x4 equals 1. And then, as we already discussed, x4 is free because there's no pivot in the fourth column. So now I'm going to translate all of these into x1 equals something, x2 equals something, x3 equals something, and so on. So I just take each equation and I isolate the variable I'm trying to solve for. Now notice that each variable is now written in terms of a constant um, plus or minus a coefficient times x4. Now web work asks you to write this instead of with an x4 with an s so here's how web work will ask you to write it note that the negative 2 3 1 0 are just the constants that you see in this first um, column and then the negative 1 1 negative 1 1 are the coefficients that are multiplied by the x4. So in this, we're really letting x4 equal s, where s is just any real number. So we're really just saying s is an element of the real numbers. And so we're saying each variable depends on what we let x4 equal, and it's going to equal a real number. So that is how we write our solution for web work 1.2 number 10.